bought a home theater receiver and didn't understand that it'd be a little complicated to hook it up. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not alone. My name's Kevin, I'm a home theater designer. I'm used to helping people like you all the time. I've done it for about 10 years now. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Yamaha RXV2600 and we're gonna show you how to hook up a 6.1 setup. The 6.1 is gonna be your front three speakers, your left, your center, and your right, and then the three rear speakers. You got your right rear, your rear center, and the left rear. Okay, the point one is always the subwoofer. Now, hang tight and we'll get you started on hooking up that amplifier. First things first, take a look at the back of your receiver. It looks complicated, but the way it's broken down is it's broken down between video and audio settings. You've got your inputs and your outputs. It's just a question of knowing what to put where. This is showing the actual video inputs. Now there are some analog audio inputs, but we're not gonna be dealing with analog audio today. All we're going to concern ourselves with is the HDMI and the speaker inputs. That's really the only way to hook things up these days. Most everything is done with HDMI. So let's just talk about those. But these are where the video connections are. Now, you've got your speaker terminals. Now, these speaker terminals will turn out and, and you can have banana clips or bare wire that goes in them. If you notice that you've got a hole in the front of the, of the speakers. Now, what that's for is the banana clips. The banana clips are the preferred way to do things because they just plug right in, very simple connection, and you're gonna get a more solid connection. Now, of course, you can use bare wires, which are shown here. I don't necessarily recommend the bare wires just simply because they fray, they corrode, and they're just a mess to put back inside of the receiver. Now, you've got, for this demonstration, we're using pre-cut banana clip wires. Now, these wires, They've got pros and cons, but for this demonstration, they're going to work out nicely. Okay, let's start off with the rear center channel. Now, the rear center channel is going to be down here. Now, I know the angle is kind of bad on this, but it says surround back, and then there's a single channel over here. On most receivers, you're going to have something that says something to that effect. So you always want to look for the surround back speakers where it's going to say surround back or single speaker, and then plug in your rear center channel there. Now... Here are the banana clips. Now, I don't have any speaker cable in here, but it's very simple just to take the bare wire and put them in through there, connect it like so, and then just like that. It really is that simple. <clears throat> so now we've got the rear center channel. Now the rear center channel going there makes it easier to do everything else. So we already know where everything is going. So let's go ahead and plug in the right rear. And notice I'm keeping red on red and then black on black. Just an easy way to keep positive and negative separate. Again, easier than having to sit there and twist this, all that good stuff. So, just makes life a lot simpler. Now, we're gonna plug in the, center, the front center channel. Again, pre-cut cables, red on red, black on black, positive and negative, done. Now we're going to the front. Keep in mind you want you want to make sure that you're plugging in the right front with the right front speaker cable with the right with the right speaker. If not, you're going to get a really weird sounding system, and you, it's going to sound not right. It's actually going to become kind of annoying. <coughs> now, here comes the left front. That's basically a 6.1 configuration. Now your subwoofer is going to go over here. To the left which is right there now that's your subwoofer pre out now it's just a single cable that runs in there I'm not going to bother hooking up that but basically you're going to look for the pre out right here and then it says subwoofer and you're going to plug that that subwoofer cable in there subwoofers have a built-in amplifier to which case you don't really need to hook it up to a speaker terminal so that's simple enough and that's what the back of the receiver should look like now, let's talk about the HDMI inputs. Now, the HDMI, again, is right over here. You got HDMI out, HDMI in one and two, actually just one and two, but you get the idea. Now, your out is always to the television. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so now you're ready to plug in the HDMI cables. 
So we're going to go with the in, with the out right here. Out is always to the television. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And we're going to take this one and we're going to put it right there. So now you've got a source in, which is here, which is always your input. You always want your sources running into the receiver. And then your video out is going out to the television. Again, this acts as a video switcher, so you're not going to have... The, t the TV's not going to have any sound to it if you run it this way. There are other ways to do it, but for today's configuration and demonstration, this is the easy way to do it. So there you go. That's that. And the final configuration should look something along these lines. So, you've got your HDMI in here, or, or you got your HDMI in, HDMI out, your six speakers, all plugged in, ready to go.